kind of upset by some of it, but you know what? <laughs> Why is TikTok taking over my life? Spill the tea. Now I feel ugly and scaly. I don't know if I just scratched my mole off. Oops, dodgy fake tan. I'd quite like to be married. Is that quite early? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a New Year's Eve makeup transformation. So first step, fake tan. Step one. <coughs> Big tan. The only thing is, is I have eczema and it's just clung to all of my eczema. So that was probably the worst decision ever because it looks patchy. I'm trying to think, should I put some on my face? Let's just do it. Oh no. <gasps> Gonna look like I have a moustache. This was a bad idea. I can tell already. Big tan. Big tan. All I want to do is put it on my right. God. Big tan. Why is TikTok taking over my life? Okay, I think that's okay. Is that patchy? It's definitely gonna give me a moustache. Oh god. It's probably because I have one. Okay, I think I'm all tanned up. That hopefully I can scrub that off in the shower. I didn't even think. Like, I have a lot of excellent spots that you can't actually tell. It looks like I'm diseased now, so I'm gonna have to wear something that's long sleeve to cover up that. <sighs> Why did I do that? I just felt ugly and pale. Now I feel ugly and scaly. Okay, I'm back. I'm fake tanned, all washed off. It's not clinging too bad to my eczema. I mean, my eczema just looks bad anyway, but it doesn't look bad because of the fake tan. It just looks bad. Sad times. Ah, really itchy. Today, I'm gonna do like a transformation, getting ready. I'm actually by myself, sadly. I'm really red. I've just got out of the bath and it was really hot in the bath. I have like burning hot water because i fake tanned i don't know i'm not that much more tanned but like i'm a different color to what i normally am obviously do i need a different color foundation probably this is the smashbox did i even put any on on that side smashbox photo finish primer i got this in my glossy box advent calendar and i asked you guys for some questions and stuff like that definitely want to do some more get ready with me's like i used to do a couple with lily or lily and alice and those were so fun getting ready to go i've just not really gone out as much um i went out of Lily recently. Yeah, I want to do that more because that was so fun. Okay, let's look through the questions. Firstly, I need to find a foundation that actually will fit me. Okay, I'm going to try this one. Okay, I'm actually going to really try with my makeup. I've kind of been getting more into makeup recently, so fingers crossed. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why this foundation's there. Okay, I'm going to be applying... Applying? <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using... This is the Zoeva Skin... Or Wait, what? Lum natural luminous foundation. I don't know. Is that gonna be too dark? I can't tell in this lighting. I feel like it might be. I actually don't know. It's pitch black outside now, so you can always put concealer on. I always say this, but I washed my brushes for the first time in forever. But I think they're gonna be wet. I stupidly did it this morning, like worst timing ever. Some of them are wet, but I think I could use this one. It's like a tiny bit wet. Let's have a look. See if this will cover my red cheeks. Before anyone asks, I don't know where this brush is from. Sorry, it says Smith on it okay i feel like this will work i'm gonna get started with the question so somebody asked did your tattoo hurt yes i did a whole video on it if you want to check it out but it didn't hurt enough to prevent me from getting another tattoo like i'm definitely gonna get a new tattoo in the new year there was one that i really wanted i think i mentioned it like a moon actually eve and i both wanted the same one so we're gonna go together but now i'm worried like firstly i'm worried is this too dark <laughs> but now i'm worried like my mum was like mm saying it would look like a banana so she stressed me out a little bit about it but i definitely want something written by my mum where's my foundation gone or whoever in my family has nice handwriting but i'll like talk about that when i get it i guess but somewhere like here or something because that's something i've also wanted for ages but to be honest although i've got like tattoo fever or whatever like when you, like i feel like i'm addicted i'm not gonna rush to get any because you know tattoo is obviously very permanent and like i don't want to get something and then get over it in like a month because that would not be good I definitely look orange. <sighs> oh no. But yeah, I definitely think if you're going to get a tattoo, think about it for a really long time. I mean, I've wanted this this tattoo. I saw it on like Josephine on Instagram. I've wanted it for maybe like a year and a half or something, which doesn't sound that long, but it's quite long. <laughs> so I definitely think about it. But I think like with something like that, the pain shouldn't put you off because of, you know, it'll be there forever. And it's not about like, you just don't think about it. But the pain, I need some more of my cheeks. I love Evie's star and someone else has a star that i love bronte she's got a really sweet star on her like here i love that place for oops don't you fake tan i love that place for a tattoo so maybe i'll get my little moon there 
but for now no one even asked me if i'm getting any more so i don't know why i'm even talking about it but yeah i definitely think it shouldn't put you off of getting it i mean to be honest my tattoo is not even that big like for me it's big for like a first tattoo but it's not like a huge sleeve or anything i feel like i'm gonna leave this room and i'm gonna look so orange like it looks so orange i don't know whether just to start again i don't know if i just scratched my mole off no i didn't it was obviously fluff but it looked like a really prominent mole okay it looks really orange on camera but actually in person it looks okay fingers crossed god let's hope i'm gonna apply this concealer this is way lighter so hopefully it will like even it out a lot oh my god i look really ridiculously tan right now oh i didn't did i even say what i'm doing i'm just going to a friend's house i'm kind of like going out with flint because um i think a lot of people are doing like chilled things um i think my other friend's seeing her boyfriend and then one of my friends isn't very well so she's not doing anything so that's what i'm doing it'll be really nice i'm excited it'll be like chilled but not chilled also this is what i wanted um to drink from so i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me soon with this because i mean that just looks lethal if you ask me it looks bloody enormous okay this isn't going well using a wet brush wasn't a very good idea either how do people blend out orange with like concealer because this just doesn't look good okay it's fine it's not like i'm going like i don't know to the oh my god it looks awful it's not like i'm going like clubbing or anything so it's fine kind of wish i was clubbing but also the clubs are like 30 pound a ticket like that's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard in my life okay this just doesn't look good but we're gonna move on and we're gonna do eyeshadow because i just don't think i'm gonna perfect this i don't know what i'm wearing so i should probably like sort that out before i do my colored eyeshadow but whatever i'm probably gonna just do like brown oh, this is my favorite palette ever this is revolution um precious stone rose quartz i don't know if that's the name but i am obsessed when i go out clubbing i wear either this shade this shade this shade or this shade and they look insane on your eyes really good although i have literally like zero eyeshadow brushes that are dry so that is great i don't even know what i'm gonna what am i doing i don't know probably just like a smoky browns i guess i might wear like a re red lace bodysuit probably so something really not too crazy maybe some lashes you know if i'm feeling crazy also i can't be asked <laughs> thing is i want to dress up also it's a house so it's like i'm not going to be wearing like a you know lace dress or something and i also don't dress up that much when i go out anyway i just wear like a bodysuit and jeans because where i live like you don't go you know crazy why is it shimmery oh this brush i used something shimmery on it the other day okay then i'm gonna add some this i don't even know it's the shade brownie hmm. i'm gonna have a really bad fallout but i haven't finished i'm gonna add more concealer later i just want my concealer like to set am i the only one that does that usually to avoid fallout i'll put like my bake on and then i'll wipe it off from my bake okay so you kind of put the base okay let's find another question whilst i poke my actual eyeball out somebody said what are you most proud of from this year i like that question because i don't think i give myself very much credit <laughs> mm, i'm actually really proud of my a level results because i really struggled i didn't get like all a stars i didn't get any a stars but like i really hated college really struggled with it and i like i think i got an a and two b's which i was really happy with so i feel like that's a big achievement for me to be honest to survive that and actually do okay something that me and evie have been working on i keep talking about it it's going to come out and hopefully in february you guys will find out but it's like probably the coolest thing i've done when i went to la that was so cool because we got like flown out i've got hair and i did a I did a press drunk kit and we got flown out to do it which is like really really cool and it was super like last minute um i didn't know until like the week before which was probably one of the coolest things i've done to be honest i'm trying to think about like personal life too i think i don't want to cry i think like being i don't know i think like one thing is reaching out for help and stuff as well that's like a big thing that i've learned i don't know i don't want to talk about it <laughs> How do you find things with friends after A levels when they're in uni? This is interesting. <laughs> Spill the tea. No, there's no tea. Different. I don't know. I think I was talking to my mum about it and she said like word really well that like 
when you go to uni you have to go and like set up your whole new life and like make new friends and like you know you're like living there for three years so you're not gonna be as you know in co i keep saying you know you're not gonna be as focused on people at home which is obviously okay i definitely learned who i don't know who cares who's real who makes an effort and who doesn't as much and who doesn't prioritize as much it's kind of upset by some of it but you know what <laughs> i think it's just i think you need like hello Hello. 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 It's me, Shadi. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, Flynn called me about like getting drink, and I realised what I was saying wasn't making any sense. So I think let me start again. When you go to uni, like your priorities change. Obviously, you prioritise making new friends and making new like a new life. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's partly expected to not stay in contact. I, I mean, like, if it's your bestie, then obviously you're going to stay in contact. But I think it's kind of expected. And I think I've definitely learned it's like a two-way thing. Like, if someone's not putting effort in, then you can't be a beg. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's only so many times you can ask, you know. You know what I mean. So you kind of got to learn when the point is like, oh, okay, they're not bothered, then I'm just going to leave it for a bit. And that's like, okay, that, that comes with life. Like, you're not always going to be best friends with everyone your whole life, even if you think you are. I think now is like a really good time to learn who you're going to stay friends with for a really long time. And I feel like I have seen that now, which is actually a nice thing. Because it makes me realise, like, the people I have that like not that I didn't think that I'd be close with forever but like I've got a lot closer to other friends which is really nice and yeah I don't know I guess it's just I've only visited the boys at uni and I had the best time doing that but um oh and I visited Amy but not like probably just like for a day I'm gonna put some eyeliner on but yeah that wasn't meaning to sound like really sad I just think obviously people's priorities change, friendships change. This is just life. Oh, someone said something really nice. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Somebody said, My goal for you is for you to learn to love every piece of yourself. What the f? I have such nice, like, I chat to so many of you the whole time and I don't even know what I'd do to deserve you. Like, I meet you guys on a night out. They're these two girls, especially, and I met them when we were out. And I don't know if they'll be watching this. I can't remember the girl's name, Ophelia, I think was her name. And literally, we became like besties. I had such a good night. And it's so weird, like, because it doesn't ever feel like, oh, you're a viewer, like, do you know what I mean? Like, a you know, YouTuber, whatever. It just feels like friends that just, they already know things about me and i'm like i want to learn about you i just need to do my eyeliner one sec i'm so lucky to have you guys it's insane oh do people let fireworks works <laughs> fireworks off on new year's eve the poor dogs ava is fine with it but i know lots of dogs are terrified of fireworks i mean and other animals for that matter okay that doesn't look very good but we move i'm hoping by the time i put like eyebrows concealer smoke it out it will look better but right now it looks disgusting like should i put foundation um what's it called eyelashes on the only thing i I have in my room to wet my beauty blender is Malibu. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna add mascara. Okay, somebody said, would you ever want to move to LA? Uh, no. I really had the best time. I'd love to go back. I feel like everyone says they want to live there, but I personally didn't feel that safe. I wouldn't feel safe walking around by myself. Obviously, maybe I just don't know, like, I don't know everywhere, like, off by heart like in london i feel safe because i kind of know where i am i know you know where i could go from but like from the days that i was there i don't know i had such a nice time but i just i guess it's like being in any foreign country especially because like my parents weren't there i was like <laughs> um i got food in my teeth that's disgusting but yeah i wouldn't it's not like my goal place to live i'd like to live somewhere near me i'd like to be able to move out somewhere near me to be honest i love where i live but i just i probably couldn't afford it especially like i couldn't buy here <laughs> rent it's just like oh god it's a lot of money but i'm not gonna be moving out for another like, couple years i reckon i'm 18 now 19 next year maybe when i'm 20 i mean my main goal now is just to save as much as possible take this opportunity and then when i you know i might decide that i want to travel the world or something and to be able to have those funds or that i want to move out or like i don't know have a child or and to have those funds to be able to do that is what my goal is speaking of somebody says where do you see yourself in 10 years time so i'll be 28 oh my gosh hopefully i'll be um like settled down moved out with my partner i mean i'd quite like to be married is that quite early i hate doing these things i don't want to jinx it ah, there's no wood touch wood 
I'd like to have children around 28, to be honest. I don't want to be too old when I have children because, like, my parents always say they wish they had us younger. Not they don't wish they had, because obviously it, like, probably wouldn't be as. <laughs> but they just say, like, you know, when you get older, you want to be able to still be able to run around, like, with your grandkids and stuff like that. So I don't want children super late. But obviously, life just happens how it happens. If I'm, all, like, totally honest, I just want to be happy, healthy, you know, with my family. Like, have my family all with me hopefully have a partner be stable financially stable like that's just all that's all i genuinely would want and i think i've become to realize that over the past even from christmas like i used to be on it with presents like i'd be so excited about getting presents and now i just don't care because not important to me i think obviously that comes with growing up also i'm lucky enough that i'm able to buy things for myself so i don't know well, i don't find it as exciting but because i can afford things myself i don't um i don't know i have less things to ask for Who's calling me? Hello? Hello? I can't even remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, I used to be so excited for presents and now I just, I don't really care for like materialistic things anymore. All I want is just, oh my God, let me speak. Hello? I may as well wait because he's about to call me in a second again. <laughs> Probably. My cheeks are so red, I need to cool down. Um, I, I actually can't remember what I say now. Yeah, materialistic things, they don't phase me as much as they used to. Not that even I was materialistic, like, not actually Gucci, all of that stuff, but having loads of just clothes and I used to just buy just so much it so much and now i mean i'll buy like what have i bought recently i bought a hoodie like a month ago so i needed a big hoodie i generally i don't buy like clothes and stuff like that anymore i just don't i mean i love clothes but i just don't i'm always like oh, can i justify spending this much on a top um i'm going to make pizza <laughs> brb okay i'm back why have i got concealer lips i'm gonna have to like keep running up and down because <laughs> they're not ready for me to make my pizza yet and my face looks disgusting i need to sort this out you know when your makeup just goes so gross like why is it so disgusting <laughs> it's like the one time of the year i actually want to look not actually no i don't get that much but <laughs> still i actually went and wet my beauty blender for once why is it looking so white underneath my eyes maybe i'm gonna need to do some like cream contour honestly i give up on this makeup oh god what is that? Oh my god, it's a effing spot under my eye. Maybe I should just do my foundation again. Damn it! What the hell is that? What the hell are we going to do now? Okay, I'm going to be back. Okay, I'm sorry that that was a mega fail. This is my finished look. I feel like the lips are a little bit 2000s. But I was stressing out so this is the look yay that was so stressful i decided not to add extra foundation or like start again i just blended it out put powder on and chilled out because it's really not deep oh no i wanted to use these i got these out to use these highlighters i think i'm gonna have to share them with my mum because she's gonna be well gel but i want to use i mean i don't need blush because i'm so i get such pink cheeks but these are from La Laura Mercier. I really want to use this is from Christmas cheek canvas delicate cheek palette I'm just gonna mix all the blush shades because Frick it. I love like a sheeny blush. I mean to be honest I bring my highlighter like quite far down probably shouldn't but don't care. Okay, that was way too much This is it. I hope you guys did enjoy and Happy new damn year Bye